hummingbird this morning came for a visit. It was a ruby-necked. Came right up to my nose. Or some would say my schwazola. Nola, zola, I don't know. It hovered there for a while and reconversed and we both smelled that sweet nectar blossoming in the air. These little creatures display their showmanship. Yep. In the spring, that is. But now it's the fall. Their courtship is over. They've laid their eggs. They've had their young. Yeah, they live for about 12 years if they don't get gobbled up first while they're busy gobbling. Aphids and gnats and beetles and wasps and mosquitoes. But they love the nectar of the locust flower and I live in a locust grove. Their underbellies are green. In the evening when it's cool, they puff up their plumage to stay warm in their hibernated state. And in the fall, pretty soon, they'll be flying south. They can go even 600 miles across the Gulf of Mexico to Central America. They like to winter there before they return north. I guess you could call them snowbirds. I've been a snowbird at times myself. The hummingbird, it hums because, well, it can't remember the lyrics. Now, in a different species, the sparrow. Sparrow got expelled from school for tweeting on an exam.